Welcome back to the CFA program. My name is Nicholas Blaine, Chief Executive of Quartic. This short video is to give you an overview of the changes from the 2018 to the 2019 curriculum. If you did an exam last year and you're redoing it, then this will guide you on what the main changes are. If you did an exam from 2017 or earlier, then check out our blog and you can go back and put together all the changes from past years. In overview, level one has had some pretty small changes, nothing much to worry about. Level two, slightly more. Level three, much more substantial. At level one, we've dropped one reading, we've added one reading, a couple of other small updates, but overall not too bad. Level two, we've dropped a reading, we've added a couple of others. Uh, length is pretty similar in all, all honesty. Few other changes, and again, as you need to pay attention to them, but not too bad. Level three, a couple of fairly major bits of rewriting going on there, a new study session altogether, so do please pay attention to that. Now, one thing to look out for is in all three readings, the topic weights have changed, so do look out for how much, how, what the levels of importance are for the different topics. At level one, the reading that's dropped is financial reporting mechanics. Now, it was pretty short and sweet, didn't really say much, uh, though to be honest, we still need to cover some of the basic mechanics because otherwise it's difficult to understand how accounting works. Uh, we have added a new chapter on fintech. Don't worry, it's fairly short, it's not too techy, but it gives you a basic introduction to big data, machine learning, and a little bit on distributed ledger technology even mentions Bitcoin. Uh, also various updates a bit uh, with new accounting standards. The leases section has been changed fairly substantially. Uh, in ethics, standard 7B has been reduced. Now that's the standard where you refer to your participation in the program. So things like using CFA as an adjective, although the rules are still there, they're no longer part of the standards. So don't worry about that. That's slightly shorter. And finally, the topic weights have changed. As I mentioned, you'll see all the details in the table there. Ethics and economics economics are stable, quants, financial reporting and portfolio have fallen, the other topics have all gone up a little bit. Overall, of course, you still have your 240 questions to look forward to. At level two, the short reading on research objectivity standards has been taken out of ethics. Uh, what has been added is the fintech chapter. In fact, it's the same one as at level one, so that's come into quants. And the new section on machine learning is now part of one of the regression chapters. Uh, in financial reporting, there's a new short reading on analysis of financial institutions, how we analyze banks and insurance companies. As well as the additions, various readings have been updated. In accounting, the new accounting standard on revenues affects intercorporate investments, so look out for that. Fixed income, two readings have been rewritten slightly. Arbitrage-free valuation, not a lot, just a couple of tweaks on that. Credit analysis models has been largely rewritten, though again, a lot of the content overlaps with the past and the past. Um, in ethics, the standard 7B has been reduced as for level one. Uh, study session two, the case studies have been completely rewritten. Now, in all honesty, ethics study session two shouldn't take you more than about an hour to read in total anyway. However, they do be aware they have changed those, read those little case studies in there. Uh, as for level one, topic weights have changed. You can see the details there. Uh, these days, the midpoints of those ranges now add up to 100%, which is something new. At level three, the changes are rather more far reaching. The whole of the equity section has been rewritten and there's a new reading on professionalism. Uh, what has been dropped, two readings have gone, one from asset allocation on market indexes and benchmarks, and one from trading. That study session used to be trading, monitoring and rebalancing. It's now just been called trading because the monitoring and rebalancing has gone. Now, it must be said, many of the concepts from those two readings have been moved to equity and fixed income, so do not think it's got that much shorter. Uh, a couple of new readings in the asset management industry and professionalism study session, which is new for 2019. You've got an overview of the asset management industry and portfolio management and a reading on professionalism in investment management. Now, updates, I've said equity, all four readings within equity have been rewritten. Uh, of course, concepts overlap with in the past, but please do take particular attention over that. Fixed income, a little bit more on yield curve strategies. So you've got new learning outcome statements on carry trade and intermarket strategies. In fixed income, there are a couple of additional learning outcome statements under the yield curve. Uh, firstly, on carry trades, which in fact you met at level two. Uh, and secondly, on uh, intercurve strategies where, you, where spreads are expected to tighten between markets and it's a matter of managing currency risk. In ethics, it's the same reduction in standard 7B as before, and topic weightings, again, you can see those that have increased and those that have decreased. Uh, an increase in equity and fixed income, decrease in economics, derivatives, alternatives, and portfolio management. 
At Quartic, we are updating our product significantly for 2019, especially a big overhaul of levels two and three. We're adding quizzes for all of level two readings. We're now webcasting revision classes as well as education classes. Level three have got new master classes and we're keeping prices stable or decreasing them. We're also white labeling our products. If you know a training firm that wants to teach CFA, then please do get in touch. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your studies.